Welcome to Rise to the Equation. Here's a fun little problem. Not too easy, not too hard, and a nice mix of math and physics. Suppose we took a four foot high cylindrical container, filled it to the top with water, and then poked three holes in it, located at heights of one feet, two feet, and three feet, as measured from the base of the container. When the holes are opened, water will obviously be ejected from each hole. We call that a water jet. The question is, if we open all three holes at the same time, where will the three water jets land? I'll give you three options to choose from, only one of which is correct. Option A looks like this, where the jets from the bottom and top holes land at the same spot, and the jet from the middle hole lands a little bit farther away. For option B, the jet from the bottom hole lands closest to the container, the jet from the middle hole lands farther away, and the jet from the top hole lands the farthest away. Finally, for option C, the water jets from all three holes land in the same spot. So, which container correctly displays its water jets, A, B, or C? Before I reveal the solution, pause the video and see if you can figure out the answer to this fun little physics brain teaser. The first thing we'll do is label each hole 1, 2, and 3 as shown. That's pretty convenient since the label numbers also correspond to the heights of each hole. Next, we need to figure out the horizontal distance of each jet, which we'll call x1, x2, and x3 for holes 1, 2, and 3 respectively. We can actually treat this like a projectile motion problem as if we were throwing a ball from each of the holes in the container. So the horizontal distance x is given by v times t, where v is the horizontal exit velocity of the water from each hole, and t is the time it takes for the water to hit the ground. We'll now write each of the formulas next to their respective distances. Let's calculate the times first. Since we're assuming projectile motion, the horizontal and vertical motions of the water jets are independent of one another. That means we can find the time t by looking at the vertical distance y, which is given by the formula 1 half gt squared, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. If we solve for t, we get the following expression. And now plugging in the heights of holes 1, 2, and 3, we get the following expressions for t1, t2, and t3. Let's substitute these into our horizontal distance expressions below and keep them on standby. Great. So, now we just need to calculate the velocities, v1, v2, and v3. If we again think in terms of throwing a ball, then its kinetic energy, Ke, which is 1 half mv squared, must be equal to the amount of potential energy, Pe, we supply it. That potential energy is equal to mgh, where m is the mass of the water, g is again the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the height of the column of water above the hole. Notice that the m's conveniently cancel out, leaving us with 1 half v squared equals gh. Multiplying both sides by 2, we get v squared equals 2gh. And finally, taking the square root of both sides, we end up with v equals the square root of 2gh. This little formula is known as Torricelli's Law, which was discovered in 1643. One important point in using this formula. We have to make sure the diameter of the exit hole is much smaller than the diameter of the container. That way, the height of the water stays nearly at the same level, creating a constant pressure and therefore a constant exit velocity at each hole. Now we can calculate the velocities. Plugging in the heights of the water column above each hole, we get the following expressions. Let's plug v1, v2, and v3 into our formulas below. 
and these expressions simplify even further to the following exact distances for x1, x2, and x3. We're almost done. We just need to draw these distances to scale and match them to their corresponding holes. So, we can now see that the water jets from holes 1 and 3 will land 2 times the square root of 3 feet from the container, which is about 3.5 feet, and the water jet from hole 2 lands exactly 4 feet away. So, it's container A. Congratulations if you picked A. You're right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Also, I'd love to get your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.